Hey, 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 Taurus. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do a reading for you. So we're going to see what's going on with you, with maybe somebody that you're with or somebody that's coming towards you. What your challenge is regarding the situation. And then we're going to give you some advice. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, by the way. Uh, this won't resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Taurus, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever you... I... I'm sorry cards are already pulling me in whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Taurus. So let's see what's going on with you. So you got the eight of vessels coming out for your energy here. So in this deck, Taurus, the eight of vessels, you see how he's working, right? It's different in this deck, the eight of vessels. Now he's got He's got six, five, five vessels displayed, right? All ready to go. And then he's got a couple down here. And one seems to be sort of, I don't want to say misplaced, but it's the smallest out of all of them. And it's not, I don't know. It almost looks incomplete, right? And he's not noticing it. So I feel like you're working on something, Taurus. But I feel like th this vessel down here needs to be worked on, whatever it is. It's around you, okay? So I almost feel like you're missing something. There's something there that you need to put energy into. And I do feel it regards your work. Because you're working on something that is, notice the vessel that he's working on, right, is the biggest one. But why is this being neglected? Why? I don't know, Taurus. Maybe that makes sense to you. So, four. The next card, you have the six of vessels. Then you have the ten of wands. You have the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles. So, I feel like you have a love relationship that's... Um, coming towards you here if you're not already involved okay if you are involved with somebody they have very very sweet feelings towards you they you give them butterflies that's what i'm getting with the six of vessels here very interesting i feel like they want to nurture the relationship this is if you're involved with somebody if you're not involved with somebody okay with the ten of fire something is transforming in your love life oh my gosh these cards i haven't used these cards in a while and they're being very strange tonight taurus they are they're being so strange. Like I'll shuffle the cards and then I get ones that just flip. And now like they're all every which way. This is very strange. So I feel like this has to do with the eight of vessels here. Okay, this happened for another sign tonight where this happened with the cards. And it's sort of like scattered scattered energy this is again i feel like there's something that you're missing with relation to your work here taurus okay 
Now you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, and they both involved involve work so you're really concentrating on something and i do feel like there's an opportunity that's coming your way regarding work here i feel like there are a lot of different aspects to your life that are transforming right now so we have the lady of vessels this is so this is clarifying the eight of vessels here Tell me more about the Lady of Vessels and the Eight of Vessels. So whatever it is you're working on, you're, you're working on something that you love here. The King of Vessels. So that's Piscean energy, Scorpio energy, Cancerian energy. Again, we have something that you love. Now, I feel like there may be a water sign that's coming into your life if they're not in it already this could be somebody at a distance here with the two of wands i wonder if tell me who this king of yeah whoever this king of vessels is okay they're holding back emotion for you and it's like you're not even paying attention i don't even know if you know that they like you Taurus I feel like because you're so involved in whatever it is that you're doing you're not even noticing and I feel like this king of vessels is that little vessel that's what I feel like why is this king of vessels holding back let's see why is this king of vessels holding back hmm Again, we have distance. There could be distance. This king of vessels could be going through something very turbulent right now and seeking peace. And I feel like when they're ready to not hold back, they will. I don't know when they, yes, yeah, see, 10 of vessels. I feel like you're their emotional fulfillment. But with this showing up, I feel like they're about to reveal their feelings for you. Taurus, tell me about the six of vessels. This is a past life soulmate here. Seven of swords and the sun. See, somebody's not speaking up. If you're with somebody, I don't think you understand the depth of their emotion towards you, Taurus. Okay, if you're with somebody. Because they're keeping it to themselves. Ooh, not for much longer, though. Not for much longer, Taurus. They're going to reveal something. You're going to have clarity as far as their feelings are concerned. With the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Vessels. Wow, something that you love is going to, that you're working on, this thing that you're working on is going to pay off here. The Lady of Staffs. You're going to be quite excited about it. See, Ten of Pentacles, this is going to bring in a lot of abundance. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Vessels. Ooh, Taurus, you're going to have so much to celebrate. And... I, I literally feel like you're not paying attention to half of it, which is good because when it comes, it's going to shock the shit out of you. The two of pentacles here. You're seeking balance. The seven of wands. It's like you're fighting for this balance. Don't fight so hard, I'm hearing. Don't fight so hard. Because you're going to have so much to celebrate, you have no clue. See, it's like, see, this is beating a dead horse. Stop fighting. Ease up on yourself. Ease up on whatever it is you're working on. I feel like you don't have to work so hard. I feel like, clarify this one more time. Okay, so I feel like you need to set a time, set time aside for healing okay when you set time aside for healing the more that you heal 
the more ease you're going to have with whatever it is you're working on, okay? The less you're going to feel like you're going, you're having to fight for, um, I don't know, success or, I guess success, yeah, fight for success. So tell me about the three of pentacles. The magician, I told you, you're manifesting greatness here. Justice here, balance. Say it with me, Taurus, balance. That is the key word, especially for this full moon. I know I did your full moon reading, um, but two of swords. Maybe you're not seeing how important this is with the justice card. You need to listen to your intuition. You have no idea what's coming to you. Yep, see? Set aside time for healing. I cannot stress this enough because this is going to bring balance, more balance anyway. It's going to lead you toward balance. And this is going to thus result in this huge manifestation. Wow. So tell me about this person. Tell me about this person. The lovers, Gemini energy, tell me more. They're worried. <laughs> they have anxiety. They're all up in their head about you. Why are they all up in their head? They want to make an offer to you, Taurus. Again, you have no idea. and They're worried about it. Again, we have distance. They're wanting to begin a whole new world with you. A whole new, I want to say life queen of swords but they haven't communicated this to you yet they will they will what do you think about this person nine of wands you're defensive because you've been wounded and there see that's why healing is showing up too you don't see this person and what they feel for you but i'm telling you right now the more that you're healing now before this person comes in yep whoops ace of pentacles the more of an opportunity at success within this relationship it, it there's going to be because you're going to hold less defenses um you're going to have less defenses nine of vessels here that's your wish fulfillment so what you're wishing for yeah i told you they're coming in knight of staffs they could be younger with the with the knight but i feel like no this is not a player this is not a player. They're saying no. I feel like there's more like this is about excitement, adventure. This is about just this person being excited to rock your world, Taurus. They want to anyway. So let's get, I'm going to get a moonology card for you. I don't think I got one in your full moon reading on Friday or Saturday, whenever I did it. I don't know. All right. So advice for Taurus <laughs> the answers you need are coming Taurus full moon in Gemini the answers you need are coming so fear not stop fighting so hard and don't forget to work on you and nurture yourself all right because that's where the magic happens that's what this is saying it's coming towards you, so be patient and keep doing you. All right, Taurus, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way, this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day. Don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, Nature Speaks 333, where I channel the trees on a daily basis for the collective. Have a good one, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.